friends, welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my lovely new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, we're doing our April update. I can't believe we're at May already. What to talk about today? So today we've got a little bit of FFO. We've got a bit of new starts. We've got a bit of whips. We've got a bit of make or break. We've got a bit of life update towards the end, just to give you a little brief overview. And then a little touch on what I've been doing recently with the whole Stitch With Me Live and, you know, see what, do a bit of, see how you get on with the idea of me doing those frequently. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? So lots to tell you today. Um, I need to try and keep this as brief as possible because I'm actually due to start work in just over half an hour because I'm working from home today. Um, so yeah, where, where to even start? It's like, there's so much of it. For those of you um, that might have seen, I don't know whether I posted anything. I did, I put it on my last, on my March update that I'd started um, a new project for my niece because she was getting married. So I picked a very small, nice little chart to do for a wedding, which I'd done rather secretly, whizzed it all up, got it framed, went to the wedding. Um, so yes, I haven't actually got it in the flesh here to show you. However, I did do a very, very quick, on the morning before I wrapped it all up, um, a quick video to show you what it looks like once it was all framed. So I will input that video around now. Okay, so here's the final piece um, of my From This Day Forward um, that I've done for my knee. So we're just about to head out to the wedding now. So I thought I'd best, oh look, you can see the label. You don't need to see the label of how much the bag costs. This is the piece that I've had completed and, um, and framed for a wedding. So let's see if we can get you a little closer. So it's got the ring. Okay, let me move back. Sorry about the shaking, people. I'm doing this freehand because this is like a two second. There we go. So, as you can see, it's got the satin stitches, it's got the ring, it's got some road stitch type things. They've got such a long surname, I didn't put the surname on. Lots of beads. There we go, in all its glory. And framed. Now I just need to package it up, jump in the car, and head off to the north. So there you go. One more finish to add to my finishes. Yay! <laughs> so there we go, we have an FFO, another one to add to add to this year, which is great. I do love this finishing thing, gives you this little, this little whoosh of excitement. Um, next up, new starts. Now you would think that I don't need to have any new starts, wouldn't you? And I sort of agree. But there was a few things that I just couldn't resist. And given that I was laid up and sick and feeling really quite sorry for myself, I lost all sense of self-control, as you do, and decided that I would treat myself. So you've probably seen this in other videos because it's one that's been sort of hanging in the wings I've said I really, really want to do. So my husband gifted me um, for my birthday last year um, one by, it's a design by Judy Dixon and it's called Autumn Promise and it's hard hang out and draw and thread designs with motifs and beads. So here it is. This is the one that I decided to do. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that. So there you go. And then here is my progress. Now you'll notice that I've got some new little baggies because that's another thing that I did whilst I was off and feeling sorry for myself. 
I realised that I had more scroll frames and not enough little baggies to house everything in. So I whizzed a few of these up, which are like little scroll frame covers, so that I can just keep all my projects on my frames and just take the stretch bars out. So here is where I've got to, and I've got to be honest, I love this. I love this, people. Look at that. It is lovely. Obviously, it's still got beads to go, so it's got no beads in it as yet, but I love it. And I've, I'm doing the cut work as I go. I'll probably go back and do the beading of this section before I move down. But it stitches up so beautifully. And obviously, it's, all, it's with predominantly silk threads. I love the colours. I love the stitches. It's beautiful. So, loving that. Absolutely loving it. There aren't very many things that I do that you just start and you think, oh, straight away. Normally it takes a little while till you get into it and then it's like, oh, I'm, I'm starting to really like that. This one has just been like, oh, from the start. <laughs> so it's super, super lovely to stitch on. I love the threads. Um, I'm sure it'll get a little bit more intricate and a little bit more difficult the further down the design I get. So, but there is another new start. So this one got, so just to fill you in with the juicy details, so this one, Autumn Promise, this one got five days of stitching on it in April. So not, that's how fast it, it sort of stitches up. I'm really, really, really impressed with that one. So, and also what I did whilst I was, you know, chilling at home, recovering from my surgery, which I can say um, I am fully recovered, thank you very much, and I feel great considering, although I'm full of cold. Um, the other thing I did was um, use my time wisely and made project bags. So I have lots of project bags that I whizzed up. I'm not getting them too close to the camera because they are terribly made, but they do the job for me. Totally do the job for me. So, so yeah, see, I've used my time wisely, people. Okay, so that was my new starts. Apart from, I started another new start yesterday because yesterday was my first day back in the office. Um, no, it wasn't. Monday was my first day back in the office. Um, and it dawned on me that I didn't have spring or high heels to stitch on <laughs> because they're my train projects and they're finished. So, at first, I, don't, I have no idea what the dog is barking at. He's obviously seen something. Fudge! Oh, excuse me, shush, be quiet. No, shush. I do apologise, people. Fudge just had a moment. He, he seems to think that something's in his garden. Um, so, as I was saying, didn't have a train project, wasn't organised enough on Sunday night to kit one of my projects up and get it all ready and to go. So I was just like, what am I going to do? So then it dawned on me that I still had the kits that I'd got from mybobbing.com. So I looked in the drawer and decided to pull out this one. So here it is. I do apologise. Now we've got an alarm going off. This is going to be one of those videos, isn't it? There we go. Let's shut that off, shall we? So unprepared, unprofessional. So this is the design. There's another dinging thing. That's the washing machine completed. Um, and this is where I've got to. So not massive amounts of stitching. But it is my train project. So I thought, well, we'll give this one a go. And this one is uh, an RTO cross stitch kit, which looks to be a DMC, I think. And it's uh, called Holly Winter. So we'll see how I go with that. It's got some half stitches in, it's got 
a bit of backstitch. <coughs> And I'm going to apologise about this cough. It sounds like I'm a 40 a day smoker. I can assure you I'm not. <coughs> it's just that I'm still rocking the cold. Okay. What's next? So next up, um, I was stitching on my lovely Andromeda. So this is what she will look like. Hopefully, all goes according to plan. So here she is. This is Andromeda. By Mirabilia. Um, this is the one that I done a stitch with me live over the Easter holidays with. And Andromeda got four days worth of stitching. There was a small snag with Andromeda in that whilst I was doing the Stitch With Me Live and I thought that it was gonna be an easy peasy one because it's a Mirabilia and it's got block colours. <laughs> I managed to go wrong, or at least I think I've gone wrong. It's a little hard to tell whether I've gone wrong. I need to go back and revisit her and just double check, but I think there's something that went awry because I was too busy chatting and not concentrating on my stitching. So. There are hanging threads here, so I will apologise. Again, if I've got footage of where you last saw my projects, it should be somewhere over here, possibly. If not, then not. And this is where we got to. So obviously that bit was already done. I've been working on her leg. And I think this, this black blob is where sort of things went a little wrong. So let me pull those threads out of the way. And I'm not quite sure what went wrong, or if it's gone wrong, I think I just need to look at my counting. So, but that's how far we've got on that one. And obviously we've done predominantly a lot of the leg, so I just need to go back and do the foot. But I didn't want to do the foot until I'd got this black section in and made sure that everything was in the right place here. And of course it's not, so we didn't complete that. So I didn't meet my goal really on what I wanted to complete on this one for this month. But there's always this month coming. So that is the lovely Andromeda. I'm gonna stop putting everything away because I'm running out of time. Then the next project that I worked on, um, what was next? My lovely alternative reality. Oh, sorry, I haven't been telling you what I've stitched on. Um, so the Autumn Promise, I believe, is stitched on a 28-count white even weave, so you don't need to worry about that one. Um, Andromeda is stitched on a fabric by Chromatic Alchemy in the colourway Cyrus. Alternative reality, you know, is a 25 count. I'm stitching it. What am I stitching it? One over one. Here's a picture of what it will look like when it is finished. And this, so Andromeda got, how long did Andromeda get? Not Andromeda. Oh, alternative reality. Oh. It says that I haven't put anything down for alternative reality, but I know I stitched on it. See, I was obviously away with the fairies this month. Um, but this is where we got to. So... basically all of this section here. This is all new, because I had a page finish there. But yeah, love this piece. And decided that I was gonna go along the top and work my way down. So there you go. Bit more action happening on my lovely alternative reality. And it was quite refreshing to go back to this one because it had been a while, it was sort of a bit of a neglected one. 
So that is alternative reality. How are we doing for time? We're doing good, people. Next up, um, we're getting very close towards the end of all the whips. <gasps> that was quick. So next up is my lovely Peacock's Lagoon. Again, Heaven and Earth Design. I'm not even going to tell you who its artwork's by. Syro. I'll let you read it in case I butcher it again. I butcher it every time, I'm sure. So here is my Peacock's Lagoon. Uh, where is it? Peacock's Lagoon. I should have known. Just look for the biggest set of scroll frames ever. And it's on that. I must admit, it's been so, so helpful having my new scroll frame bags. And what I've done is I've actually put like a little tag on so that I know what's in each bag as well. So I don't have to keep sort of like rummaging through them. Especially when you've got scroll frames that are all the same size, or that there's a lot that you've got same sizes of. This one, you can tell straight away which one it is, purely because they're as big as they are. Look, I don't even, can't even get it on the camera. That's how big they are. So, Peacock's Lagoon. Dun, 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 dun. Peacock's Lagoon got seven days worth of stitching. Now, obviously, when I'm saying it's got seven days worth of stitching, although I was at home and off work, it wasn't like I was, you know, stitching all day, every day, because I, I wasn't up for that. So it got as much love as I could give it, which is normally an hour or two a day. So here we've got two on Peacock's Lagoon. As you can see, we're working on the, the moon things. There's a lot of white in there. A lot of it you probably can't see, but where all the threads are hanging is where it is that I've got to. Love this piece, love it. Basically, I am, where is it? I'm sort of working on this corner here, just here. This is where we got to. For orientation's sake, here we go. So yeah, love that one. Um, and then finally, see, I told you I was going to whiz through this video as best I could for my monthly update. But that's only because I've got to go and do some work. So next up is my lovely Chatelaine evening in the park. So let me get this out. This is what it will look like, which of course doesn't do it any justice whatsoever until you actually see it. Um, I'm trying to remember what this one was stitched on. Let me remind myself, because you'd think I'd know because I've, I've told everyone so many times. So this one is stitched on fabric by Stephanie, 25 count in the colorway Abyss. And Evening in the Park got four days worth of stitching this month. But it did, good, it did get some good runs of stitching, if you know what I mean. So rather than just half an hour here and half an hour there, I actually, I actually gave it a good, it had a good few hours on each session. Oh, and here is where I got to. So as you can see, I stitched this section here. Um, what else did I do? I backstitched, I can't see a thing. I backstitched, back, 
stitched um, the pots and obviously done this other corner here. So I love this. You know, and it's just so, oh! I mean, there's a lot of beadwork that needs to be done to finish up here, this section, because there's quite a lot of beads that I haven't put on it yet. But I might do, instead of doing a Stitch With Me video um, live, I might do a Bead With Me video live because I can just sit and chat and bead all at the same time, which is a lot easier than trying to do the stitching, I've got to be honest, I think. But yeah, so as you can see, I've still got the specialty stitches to put into this side to match that side. But I've actually done this section. But it's... I would love to think that I'm going to get this finished very soon, although it's not going to be very soon. But I would like to try and make it a bit more of a focus piece and make sure that I get, you know, I don't know, seven days every month of stitching on it with some good chunks of stitching, not just a, an hour here and there. So, but totally love this piece. Love what's in it. Love all the specialty stitches. Love the bling. Yeah. What's not to love, people? And like I said before, each one of the tails of the swans is slightly different because for some bizarre reason I just couldn't seem to get them right. Um, do I care? Not really. It's unique, as everyone keeps pointing out. So I'm going with that. I'm going to roll with uniqueness. So there we go. I do believe that is all the stitching, which... Considering that I had surgery at the end of March. Um, so yeah, considering I had surgery, I wasn't at my best. Um, I don't think I did too bad on productivity. I won't sniff at the amount of stitching I got done. And bearing in mind that it wasn't just stitching, you know, I made my... Oh, I made my scroll frame baggies and I made my project bags. So yeah, I feel quite accomplished for April, <laughs> which is very rare because April is normally a mass gardening day for me. Um, oh, gardening day, a gardening month, because obviously that's when everything starts to come alive. I need to have a drink, I'm so sorry. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still not better. Um, I'm really quite gutted. I was supposed to have been going visiting um, last weekend um, to go and do um, a day of stitching with some of my lovely ladies um, where they was all meeting up. Unfortunately, because I was rocking this so badly and I still hadn't managed to get out of bed and the cough was horrific, I was like, I can't turn up like that. And to be honest, I don't even think I could have driven because it's a good three and a half hours away. Um, yeah. So I was absolutely gutted because that was the only thing that I had that I was actually really looking forward to, to doing, considering that I've been laid up and housebound for weeks and weeks. And then the one time that I actually had something planned and it was just before I was going back to work and it didn't happen. So... Yeah, I was really, really disappointed. So ladies, I am so sorry I didn't make it. I will do my very utmost not to miss any more ever, ever again, because I felt so bad the first time. So, but it sounds like they all had a wonderful time. They had a lovely time doing their stitching and knitting and yeah, so, and I've saved them. I've saved them from the lurgy as well. So, I mean, no one wants someone to turn up and then infect them all with their germs, do they? That's not very nice, so. Um, so yeah, so I missed the, the one real good thing that I was looking forward to. Uh, Easter was a fabulous weekend, wasn't it? We had a lovely heat wave here, so I spent most of my Easter weekend laying on the deck, which was good because I actually came down with this on the Tuesday after the Easter Monday. Um, so at least I managed to sort of lay out in the deck and enjoy the sunshine before sort of the rotten cold kicked in, so... 
So yeah, so lovely Easter weekend was had. Um, obviously, I did my first stitch with me live videos um, over this last month. Uh, there was two. So I did one in the UK, which I didn't announce ahead of time, basically because I wanted to sort of not have too many people try and join and then find that it, it went disastrously. So I aligned it more to the people in the UK, of which quite a few people actually turned, joined me in the end, considering it was completely unnotified. Um, I checked all the techie stuff to make sure it worked. It seemed to work fine. Um, so then obviously for the Easter weekend, I scheduled um, one that was more aligned to sort of the US and Canada. Um, and I was overwhelmed by the amount of people that actually joined me. So all of those that, that came and joined me for my, my first official Stitch With Me Live, thank you so much. It was, um, and it really, really helped. It really helped to have something to interact with while I was stitching. Admittedly, the stitching still went wrong. Um, and obviously, after playing back, um, I think I need to structure myself more. So although there's all the comments coming in, I think I just need to pick the odd comment to answer or to, to, to talk about. But predominantly, you know, try and hold my focus. Because I, tend, I found that I spent more time trying to read everything that everyone was saying and less time actually stitching. So, but I had an absolute blast. Um, for those that joined it, you know, let me know. Did you like that Stitch With Me? Um, do you think I should do some more Stitch With Me lives? Um, I found it a lot easier because I didn't sort of struggle for what to say because there was something that was interactive. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the fact that you know, the people that joined me were actually interacting with each other on the chat. You know, it wasn't necessarily just all to chat to me they were chatting amongst themselves as well which I thought was fabulous so so I really really liked it um and my plan of action if I get the right responses from all you lovely people is that you liked it um then I would like to try and do sort of you know one stitch with me live a month if I can if I can get more in then I will but obviously given that summer's to come in and you know, I'm back to work. I think sort of once, one a month of Stitch With Me Live, if I can try and stick to that once a month, then at least it will be sort of a monthly update and a Stitch With Me Live. And then if I get an extra Stitch With Me, which I just do whilst I'm stitching one day, that will be like a little extra bonus. But, but yeah, so a little bit of feedback from yourselves, especially for those that actually joined the Stitch With Me Live. Let me know what you thought, whether you think I should do it again or whether I should not do it again. <laughs> I won't be offended, I promise. <laughs> um, what else to tell you? Life update. Obviously, surgery went well. Um, I'm back to work now, which is good, because, you know, everybody needs their routine back. Um, it was lovely while it lasted, <laughs> the whole not having to go to work. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is time to go back to work, unfortunately. Um, now I just need to manage my time. Obviously, the garden is in uproar with tulips and daffodils. Um, everything's starting to sort of, you know, it's spring. It's oh, Rhododendrons are coming out. Azaleas are coming out. My seeds are rocking along in the, in the greenhouse. The dahlias are all kick firing off. So they're all like in the greenhouse and the cold frame. So yeah, everything's starting to, to grow. And I get super excited at this time of year because all of a sudden the color starts to come back. It doesn't look so drab outside. Um, I haven't done a garden tour this, this year for spring, but I do have some pictures. So probably at the end of this video, I'll input the pictures for you to see, you know, just a, a few a few pictures of my of my tulips and my daffodils so that you can see. Um, unfortunately, I think when I'd done the pictures, um, the rhododendrons and the azaleas hadn't come out. So, but yeah, I'm loving spring. Just need a little bit more heat. It's a smidgen. It's a little bit nip in the air still for me. Um, Mum, so for those that have asked me questions about how my mum is doing, uh, she's doing okay. Um, 
as, as good as she can. Uh, she's resided herself that, you know, however she is now is basically how she is. Uh, she does tend to have good days and bad days. So, you know, if she's had lots of sleep and she slept well the night before, her brain is very much engaged and she's fine. Um, she tends to find that she's struggling a lot more when, um, if she hasn't had enough sleep, um, then she, she struggles with some of those cognitive things. But she's, she's acceptant of it and, and very, very grateful that, yes, okay, she has problems with your everyday stuff, but she's, she's still mobile, or as mobile as she was before. Um, so, yeah, so she's doing, she's doing great. Unfortunately, she's a little bit off colour at the moment, but then with me being the way I am, half my family have come down with this as well. So Lauren uh, is sitting an A-level exam today and is rocking the same sort of thing. So I do feel for her today. But good luck, Lolly. I hope, you know, I hope it all goes well today. Um, what else to tell you? I don't think there is You know how we love that 30 minute stop on the camera. <laughs> it's just done it again. There's no stopping that bad boy, I tell you. Um, make or break this month has definitely been Andromeda because I was doing so well. I was at first, I was super excited because she was going so well. And then obviously I've made a boo-boo with the black color. So she broke me. But other than that, I'm in love with all my projects. There isn't one project that I'm like, oh, I don't really want to stitch on that. So that's great. I like it when it goes like that. Um, considering I've been at home, I haven't really had a chance to watch much floss tube myself, if I'm honest. Um, purely because obviously I've been stitching and, and sleeping a lot. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately I'm way behind on everybody's floss tube videos. But I will catch up, just as and when I can. You know how it is, people. We do what we can do as and when we can do it. Well, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. We've done the stitching, we've done the, you know, we've, we've done the life update. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, you know, I've been in this community now for over four years, maybe five years. And I don't think that the viewers get the recognition that they should. Because if it wasn't for the lovely comments, the subscribers, um, and the people that interact, I don't think we would have as many people in the community doing the floss tube videos. So, round of applause to all of the viewers of floss tube, and for all those people that you know come and hang out with us on our videos, leave us lovely comments and not comments. The ones that don't leave nice comments, you know. You add to the numbers, what can I say? <laughs> Whether you want to or not. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of the people that have stuck with me, supported me, the new subscribers, the people that keep it all fresh. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you. And I, pre I appreciate the interaction. You know, and... People that do these floss tube videos know how much time and effort goes into it. It's not just a quick, oh yeah, we'll just quickly do a recording and then upload it. I wish it was that simple, because if it was, we'd be blasting videos out every two or three days, but it's just not that easy. So massive thank you to everyone for hanging out with us, you know, and to, for supporting the people that do these floss tube videos, because we do really, really appreciate it. And we wouldn't have any reason to do it if it wasn't for the viewers. So thank you so much. On that note, I hope you all have a wonderful month. I'm sure we all will, because the summer is coming. No doubt I will see you at some point throughout the course of the month, either with a bead with me live, or a stitch with me live, and if I can't make a live, then I'll make something else. So until next time, bye bye for now.